Let's talk about some significant individuals of the American Revolution. John Adams. He was a lawyer who defended British soldiers after the Boston Massacre because he believed everyone should have a fair trial. He was a member of the Sons of Liberty. He was a member of the Continental Congress. He was a patriot and signed the Declaration of Independence. Abigail Adams. She is the wife of John Adams. She served as his confidant while he served in the Continental Congress. She fought for women's rights. Wentworth Cheswell. He was an African-American patriot. He made the midnight ride like Paul Revere. However, he's not as well known because he was an African-American. He served in the army and fought at the Battle of Saratoga. Samuel Adams. He is the leader of the Sons of Liberty. He organized protests against the Stamp Act. He took part in the Boston Tea Party, was a member of the Continental Congress, and signed the Declaration of Independence. Mercy Otis Warren. She was the wife of a Massachusetts patriot. She anonymously wrote several propaganda pieces supporting the patriot cause. James Armistead. He was a slave from Virginia and a spy for the Continental Army. He was a double agent and was a servant at the British headquarters. He told the Continental Army about British troop movements throughout the American Revolution and contributed to the American victory at Yorktown. Benjamin Franklin. He was a member of the committee who wrote the Declaration of Independence. He was an ambassador for the United States in France and helped the United States win the Revolutionary War because he convinced France to help the United States. He signed the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, the Treaty of Paris, and a treaty alliance with France. He created Poor Richard's Almanac. He was the creator of the Pennsylvania Gazette and was an inventor. One of his inventions were the bifocals. And he proved lightning was electricity. He also established the U.S. Post Office. Bernardo de Galvez. He's a Spanish noble who became governor of Spanish New Orleans. He protected American ships in the port of New Orleans and helped transport war supplies for America during the Revolution. Crispus Attucks. He was a black man that was the first casualty during the American Revolution. He was fatally shot during the Boston Massacre. King George III. He is the King of England. He was scared that the colonies would rebel against England. So he ruled them harshly. He was known as a tyrant. Haim Solomon. He is a Jewish immigrant who helped finance the revolution. Because America was, was poor, he spent most of his money paying for the war. He was arrested for spying on the British, but was soon released. Patrick Henry. He was a member of the Virginia House of Burgesses. His famous quote was, Give me liberty or give me death. And he was a member of the Continental Army. Thomas Jefferson. He wrote the Declaration of Independence and was a member of the Continental Congress. Marquis de Lafayette. He is a French citizen and he helped gain French support for helping America during the Revolution. He fought on America's side during the Revolution. Thomas Paine. He wrote the pamphlet called Common Sense. It says, if your government treats you bad, 
you should create a new one. Duh. He persuaded Americans to join the Patriot cause. George Washington. He was a Virginia resident. He was a planter, a soldier in the French and Indian War. And as a British soldier, he learned tactics that he used against them in the American Revolution. He was a member of the First and Second Continental Congress, a commander of the Continental Army during the American Revolution, and chairman of the Constitutional Convention after the Revolution. John Paul Jones, he was the founder of the U.S. Navy. He won battles against the much superior British Navy during the American Revolution. During one battle, when he was asked to surrender, he said, I have not yet begun to fight. <laughs>